Hello everyone, it's Clara here. Welcome back to my channel and to another travel series. It is Thursday afternoon and we are about to leave to Strasbourg in France. It's about four, four and a half hours car ride from Nuremberg and I'm going to take you with us and show you some places we will visit. The main attraction of this trip is actually Europa Park which is 45 minutes from Strasbourg. I want to do separate video about Europa Park so I will link that also below when it's done. The weather seems to be a little bit funny and the weather forecast says it's gonna rain so <laughs> I hope the rain is not gonna ruin the whole trip. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, hit the thumbs up and let's go! The weather wasn't actually that bad at all. Even the ride was quicker than expected. It took us about three, three and a half hours just. Um, somewhere between was raining a little bit, but um, nothing really bad. We were really hungry, so we decided to get uh, something to eat in uh, the city. And we were already walking through the streets. It was just really very nice atmosphere. Here you can see the Strasbourg Cathedral. I will talk about the cathedral also a little bit later. We went through the city very quickly because we were starving. It was something about 8 p.m. And we wanted to eat something really authentic, something French. So we found uh, this restaurant, I hope I will say it correctly. The name is Binstab and I will link that below in the description so you can look at it uh, yourself. We all got French dish called tarte flambe. It is composed of bread dough rolled out very finely in the shape of rectangle or oval, which is covered with cream fraiche and thin sliced onions and lardons. The thing is, if you don't speak French, I think in most places they have just French menu. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to understand. Hey guys, I wanted to just check in. We just arrived to our hotel. It's 22.30. So we are exhausted after a long day. The drive was actually quicker as we thought. It took us about three and a half hours. And it wasn't raining yet. So the weather is actually good. It's warm, it's a little bit sticky but uh, I'm excited now for the shower and we will just go sleep. The next morning was a little rainy, but it didn't last long. We decided to ride right away to the city and have a breakfast there. First place which we found, I will also link that below, was unfortunately full. So we were walking to the other place which we found and it had really good recommendations. As we walked along, you can already see some famous places to visit. This is La Petite, France. Even so early, the place had really special atmosphere. I wanted to show you this cheese store because I never see the bigger cheese. Look at it, guys. And we are finally getting to our breakfast spot, L'Atelier 116. Look at this line, it was very busy. Uh, they didn't have all the tables outside yet, so it was a little bit of fight, but we got the table on the left side. They had amazing baguettes, so many little cakes, and it was just very cute. I got cappuccino and panini with pesto, with ham and cheese. It was very crispy, delicious. And this was my favorite. This is called a Paris breast. If you haven't tried one yet, you definitely must try this. It was just yummy. Another typical French dessert is eclairs and I was very sad we didn't get those. We went to have a look at St. Thomas Church. This is a historical Protestant church with a late Gothic design.
We are walking through the square called Place Gutenberg and you can ride here this French carousel and as we are continuing you can already see peeking behind the Strasbourg Cathedral. Look at this amazing breathtaking view. These buildings and the streets are just so cool and this cathedral I just didn't know where to look first. It was so overwhelming. The cathedral is a Catholic cathedral. So they started to build the cathedral in 1015 and it was completed in 1439. The length is 112 meters and maximal height is almost 33 meters. The best yet we decided to go up there guys because I thought it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be really nice view and actually it was very interesting. It uh, said a lot of story about the cathedral I think we waited about 30 minutes in the line. We got lucky because after that the line was much longer. Right next to the cathedral was built a Rohan Palace. This is formal residence of the prince bishops and cardinals of the house of Rohan. This palace was built in Baroque style and the construction started in 1732 and was completed in 1742. I love this view one more time again when you are coming from the palace. The view of the Strasbourg Cathedral was just so amazing. Here you can see on the right side Bistrot and Chocolat. I found it on Instagram. It is a brunch spot. We didn't go there but um, you can maybe try it out if you are there. We decided to go see the European Parliament and <laughs> As you can see, we are walking on the riverside because it was so nice, the weather was amazing, the atmosphere with the boats were very cool. So we just enjoyed our walk and I will show you a little bit from that. I actually found one more spot for brunch and as we are walking here on the riverside, it was right there. It's a boat called Atlantico. We just wanted to actually drink a coffee and have some maybe dessert because we weren't really hungry. So I got some French toast because that's must have when you are in a friends, right? So yeah, it was very tasty, it was good break and we got some power to walk to the next stop. Right now you are looking at St. Paul's Church of Strasbourg. This is a major Gothic revival architecture building and one of the landmarks of the city. This church was built between 1892 and 1897. The height of this church is 76 meters. So Google Maps says that the walk from the Strasbourg Cathedral to European Parliament is about 30 minutes. I think we took about one hour because we were making uh, some breaks and yeah, we wanted to see a little bit uh, stuff around and we are finally here. I think that the visit of the parliament is definitely worth it. The dynamic and interactive exhibition gives the citizens of all ages and practical insight into the role of the European Parliament, its political groups and the work of its members. The visit took us about I think 60 minutes. Uh, you cannot uh, make uh, videos inside but we could even go on the roof so there was the view also amazing. Keep in mind that the parliament is closed on Sundays as well as on the 
public holidays. Right now you are looking at Saint Pierre Le June Catholic Church built in late 19th century. The next stop is the Pili de Justice of Strasbourg. It is a large 19th century neo-Greek building with no Egyptian elements in the tribunal quarter of the Neustadt district of Strasbourg, which houses Strasbourg's main court. And our last stop is Mailuk restaurant. This is an Asian restaurant. It gives a little bit more bistro vibes, I would say, but the food was so delicious. We got some starters, some fried octopus, some dumplings, and we got this yummy, amazing flavored balls. Uh, on the side was also miso soup. I got this bowl with the fried tempura. It was also a little bit spicy. I will link that uh, definitely below. You can uh, have a look. It's definitely worth to visit. I would like to also thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye bye.